All right, it is Tuesday night. We just finished the podcast. We didn't really have a topic tonight. And as we are talking and just kind of um, just me and Jackie Durian, just trying to like figure out something to talk about because it's kind of been this way for the last, I don't know, a couple of weeks. We've just kind of been struggling on topics. And I think we've also been, we talk about our law. Are, and I think you've noticed on some of my videos the last week or two that I've just been kind of in this really block. But I think I had kind of an epiphany tonight, sitting here talking about, like, the different things that are going on. And, you know, it's kind of like our, it's not that our cup isn't being filled or we're not um, or we're giving out too much. It's like we've lost our cup. We don't even know how to fill it because we don't know where it's at. And as we started just talking about like the things that are going on in our lives and what we are doing, you know, she's she's going to school and she's working and she's working nights and I'm, you know, I'm in school full time. I'm an empty nester. And it dawned on me when I said that. I was like, there's empty nest syndrome. And I think that's where I'm at right now. My daughter's only been out for a month. And with my business, you know, it was different because there were times I was coming in here and I would come in my office and work because it would be like my alone time. And I'd come in here and work because my door was shut and, you know, she would do her thing in there and then my husband would get home and then I would finish up whatever I was doing for the day and if it's not school or it's at Quincy and then I would go and be amongst them. And she's not here. So... I'm in that lonely stage, and I don't come in my office to be alone now. I have the whole house alone. It's just me and my cat. So my funk, my, my, my wall right now that I'm trying to push through is the empty nest syndrome. And that's where my blog comes from. So at least now I've kind of acknowledged on what's going on. And sometimes, and I'm not saying this, I am not a licensed anything for any mental health, but I do like to try to analyze, like, my moods of what's going on. I try to acknowledge whenever I know I'm feeling angry or I'm feeling hurt or I'm feeling upset or maybe I'm feeling hungry. You know, there's just a lot of things that you go on whenever you start getting my age <laughs> so it is it is a struggle with my business right now and just know that it's I'm not staying here it's just something I have to go through I went ahead and decided to hop on I don't normally do a journey talk after a podcast I'm normally pretty drained and I am drained but I'm not drained from trying to have the conversation it's I'm just drained, and I think a lot of that is coming with what's going on around me. So remember, as you're as you're going through your journey, you're going through your business, and you have your ups and your downs. That it's not always the customers, it's not always your teammates, it's not always just you. Sometimes it's situations that come up around you, and or something that you're going through that maybe you haven't realized yet. And it's not that your business is bad. And it's not that your business is, is failing. And it's not that you are failing. It's that you're going through something. And so I am. I'm going through empty nester right now. And it's, it's, it's hard because I don't know how to get through it. But that's going to be what my next step is. Is when you start coming across that it's something that is with you, either physically, emotionally, or mentally, is that you kind of need to acknowledge it, and you need to feel it, and then you need to get through it and finding a way. It's not going to happen overnight. So I've been going through this for the last couple of weeks that's just kind of been really hard to focus and be doing something. And I think I figured out what my next step is. So I need to figure out how to get past this empty nest syndrome. Um, the, one of the biggest things I've noticed is the loneliness. The girls that I collab with, we don't talk like, we talk a lot, and we talk about what's going on. It's like, oh, hey, this happened today, or, oh, my gosh, this is what I created today, or this is what I'm doing for my team, or this is what I'm doing for my customers, or, oh, hey, do you, you know, 
do you have orders, pre-orders for something releasing on Monday or, um, or for the first or something? And we talk about a lot of, it's just business stuff. And we do get personal in there. We do talk about our daily lives with our families, our husbands, our kids, our grandkids. Um, there's other things that are going on. And, you know, I talk about my school. But that's kind of where I'm at. So don't think that I'm going to stay in this part. And that's one thing I wanted to hop on tonight was just to tell you guys is that don't stay and be stuck. There, there's going to be a process. I have to go through this, and I have to figure out what's going on. And maybe I need to start doing a journal, and maybe I need to start doing some more something, something. <laughs> um, so just know that there's going to be times that your your business is going to cycle, but your mental and your physical and emotional stressors will start to come up, and it can affect your business. And that's when you need to have kind of a fail safe of like, are you still doing going through the motions at least? So I still respond to my customers. Anytime that they message me or if I get an order, I still send out messages. I'm doing all of that. I just haven't done what I normally do for transition. I normally have a thing I mail out for all my customers, and I just haven't been feeling it. I haven't even finished getting all of it together. I've printed off quite a bit, but I haven't gotten my registered stickers. And that's where I'm at. So it's, it's like I haven't even done a video about my warmer of the month or my wish box that got in. So that's something that I need to do tomorrow, plus just some homework. So I'm going to try and push through this. So I know that I need to start getting more on my routine, my new routine, my new routine of me being home. Um, i got to make sure that I'm eating right. i got to make sure that I'm still staying healthy. I, I can't dwell in my loneliness. I, I need to figure out something from there. And there's only so much, you know, I do talk about this with my husband. He is supportive of my business, but he's not involved in my business. Like, there's times that when I was really busy and I was getting stuff out that I would have him while he's sitting in front of the TV after getting off work, you know, and he'll fold the product sheets or he would do stickers for me. And I've kind of taken that all back to myself because it got really slow and there wasn't stuff for me to do. So I think that's where I'm at is that I need to, I'm in this lonely nesting syndrome. I'm in the midst of it uh, like in the beginning. And I need to figure out how to work through. So. <laughs> and maybe it's it's not a great place for me to be at right now. Um, I have a lot of stuff going on. So school, full time. I have four classes. I have two that are online. I have two that are in person. I go Tuesdays and Thursdays through most of the day. And then I come home. My husband gets home in the afternoon. So he goes to work really early in the morning, and he gets home then around 2. And about 4, between 4 and 6 is kind of when I shut down, except for on Tuesday. So I think I need to start scheduling time in the evening to do something with my business. Um, I try to do stuff during the day, like on Facebook or Instagram. I'm still trying to get Instagram on there. Facebook is definitely my one, but I've been pushing towards TikTok only because I want to be able to go live. Okay, not live. I want to be able to go live because I want to be able to incorporate another platform on my lives for my informatives. Um, it's just a different place, and I'm getting some traction when I'm doing some of my product reviews. Of, um, I did the Cincy Air. I've done my diffuser so it's finding something to do on different platforms and so I've been focusing more on TikTok and trying to learn more about the ins and outs and I'm, I'm nowhere close I'm, I would say that I'm still in beginner stages of understanding TikTok but this is the process when you go through to learn something new so if you are wanting to expand to a new platform just understand you're going to have that beginner's struggle you have to learn where things are at. Um, you have to learn where the features are at and what kind of features. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at TikTok because I've been more consistent with it. And in our business, being consistent on anything, on any part of your business, is a necessity. So I'm still doing follow-ups. I'm still checking in with my customers. I'm not doing it with 
the enthusiasm I normally have. And I'm not, I don't have the energy on for my lives to actually, I haven't done a live in so long. I haven't done a live in a while on Facebook. So that probably needs to be something I put back into the whole system. Is making sure if I'm doing a live, I'm doing a live on on Facebook. So that's just kind of it. So guys, I am Kathy Bollinger. This was just a little tidbit of kind of figuring out where my blog came from. And I'm going to do a little bit of research. I'm going to figure out if this is what's going on and what I need to do to kind of fix it. So don't give up, guys. Don't get stuck in the mud. Don't think that where you're at in your business, you will stay. You just have to keep pushing through. And sometimes it's a wall. So if in the wall, you either have to go over or under or around it. So you've got to figure out your path. And just because something is there doesn't mean you can't use it. It just means you got to figure out how to get through it. So I hope that these videos are helping you guys. Um, this is my journey, my journey in growing my business, building up my team, um, growing my customer base, and just kind of revamping my business. Now, one of the highlights that I will be talking about soon is I get to go to Director Boot Camp in October. I'm very excited about that. I'm excited, but I'm not as excited as I could be. So I'm hoping that I can get kind of through this empty nester syndrome and then kind of give you guys the ins and the outs of all the fun things that you know. Now, there is an NDA that I am signing, so there will be some things that I will not be able to discuss. But I will be as open as I can be about it on what I can share. Um, just know that it's not about gatekeeping. It is, it is a business. And there are things that we, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm, I don't know what they would show us that we can't talk about unless we get to see some products that maybe are releasing soon. That's the only thing I could think of is that we can't pull this off. So I'll share with you what I can. Um, but I'm definitely not going to be breaking an NDA on the things that we can. So I hope you guys have a blessed Tuesday night. It is September 24th. Um, I am planning on trying to get at least two more lives out there, or two more video recordings this week um, with some more training. So hopefully I can kind of show you the different things I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, I'll try to record and remember and give you guys, keep you guys updated. So don't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm, I'm just pushing through. So I'm in my struggle bus. I'm in my pushing through phase. So it will end just like everything else. I hope you guys are, I hope you just had a great day. And I hope tomorrow is even better. Just know that you are loved. You are strong. You are worthy. And guys, you can do this business. Um, we all struggle. So don't think that you're by yourself. Uh, reach out. If you have any problems, reach out. Um, I'll help you the best I can <laughs> in the best way I know how. Um, and it, it will change. You'll, you'll be able to see when my mood is different and when my um, when I'm in a better spot, on, you'll be able to see the difference. If you kind of look back through some of my videos, you can see the difference because I can hear it in my voice and I can feel it. So just know you're not alone. All right, that's what I got for you guys. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.